on the Gringos Eat Gringos. Welcome to Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. We are here in the parochia in the central of San Miguel de Allende. We're going to show you why coming up after this. Gracias. Liberamos a Barrabás o a Jesús. Ave, que al mundo repara, es María. Ave, ave. Gracia plena. Si a la que el mundo ofrece que es de flores, o a la que ofrece Cristo que es de espinas, la de flores remata en sin sabores, la de espinas en glorias peregrinas. El soberano Padre que previno, sus ojos espectaculares. Si eres hijo de Dios, haz un portento. Que el mundo lo celebre y yo lo estimo. Cuando de oro trillado la campaña amena llena. Veis, dice al hombre aclamado. Te ofrezco Dios y Señor estas estaciones santas por aquellas culpas tantas en que he caído sin temor. ¿Quién pensara tal cosa, confesando el presidente, estar Jesús inocente? Tu corazón lo probó. Probemos tus amarguras meditando tu pasión. Sentencia. Yo, Poncio Pilato.
sáqueme de mi delito la cruz de la penitencia. Tú eres la lira del divino Orfeo, que mueves ya a los troncos y a las fieras, que ya desechas con tu canto veo las leyes del infierno más severas. Oh glorioso estandarte, alto trofeo, que suspende las nítidas esferas, viendo la vara que a Moisés previno, el dulce canto. Oh prodigiosa cruz, divina aljaba, que inventó el más glorioso desempeño, la ambrosía. Dulcísimo Jesús, Dios verdadero, Nazareno divino, perdón, oh mi Jesús, perdón os pido. el amor Jesús lleno de dolor aquel rostro ensangrentado limpia con piedad no poca una mujer y en su toca Señora, tan sola y afligida, ¿a dónde tu querido ha declinado? Que ya de mi alma, de mi alma el borrón lavo con amargo llanto. Señor, quien sino yo, os cargó ese duro peso un trito, sáqueme de mi delito la cruz de la penitencia. 
hace un momento en la celebración litúrgica del Viernes Santo en nuestra parroquia y cada uno estará tentado de decir como Pilato, Dios, el dolor de Jesús es compartido con el sufrimiento de su Santísima Madre. Este dolor ya no es un castigo, una maldición. Aquel que es el mundo luz carga con horrible asombro la cruel corona y al hombro la más que pesada cruz levantando para el calvario camina dulcísimo Jesús Dios verdadero Nazareno divino hermosa flor mi rey, mi dueño, padre y redentor a quien amo, en quien creo y en quien espero si al sacrificio vais manso cordero Veis aquí lo que roba vuestro amor, la oveja soy perdida, buen pastor, cuyas culpas cargáis en el madero, ya que aquí me buscáis, me habéis de hallar, pues yo también os busco arrepentido, y espero que me habéis de perdonar, porque amor y dolor me traen y así ya dueño mío, más no pecar, perdón, oh mi Jesús. Oveja bella del Cordero Santo, Raquel de inmenso orfandad y anhelo, aurora triste, sol que... en mí si este estrago causó en vos misericordia señor beba el cruel letargo y beba el cáliz amargo de vuestra así ha batido mi Dios al sad mi rey su atroz de mi delito y así hace muéveme el ver tu cuerpo tan herido muévenme tus afrentas y tu muerte no me tienes que dar porque te quiero Wasn't that just wow? Yeah, wow is about the way to describe it. That was really a very unique and elaborate pageant. It was. I mean, you know. there was there was probably a thousand people that were involved just in the procession. That's pretty incredible. I mean, that's a lot of people with a lot of work. It takes a lot of choreography to get it all done. And did you notice the people cleaning up after them? As soon as that last part of the procession, they were cleaning it up and they were ready to go. So this place would be spick and span as soon as it was done. Absolutely. You know, I've seen, I've seen saints days and things like that in very ethnic neighborhoods. I've never seen anything as elaborate as this. I have. You have? Yeah, Godfather 2. <laughs> Did you want to wet your beak? I mean, yo. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> But that's what I was talking about. I mean, this is pretty elaborate. I mean, there's several stages, as you could, you know, see in the video. I just don't even know 
if I'll ever see anything quite like that again. And that really was the reason that I really wanted us to be here in San Miguel de Allende during Easter. Yes. And we're not done showing you all the fun stuff yet. Nope. There's more still to come. Yes, there is. So, of course, I had to get some ice cream, helado. So, I got two flavors. First one is queso. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not cheese flavor, it's like vanilla with shredded cheese in it. Okay. The other flavor I got was rose petals. And it actually has rose petals in it. Oh. Oh man. That's actually really good. It kind of reminds me of rose tobacco for hookahs, where it, you could taste it in your mouth, the roses. Wow. That's pretty good. Rose petal ice cream. We've decided to try yet another Italian restaurant. Go figure. This time we're at Moma. Okay, Mark is getting all Genesis Mama on us right now. Hold on, let me show you what he just did. Okay, tell us again about Mama. <laughs> oh. For all of my Genesis friends out there, that was for you. You know, the trivia about where did that laugh come from? Uh, most hardcore Genesis fans know the answer to this. Where did Phil Collins get that laugh? Think on that. Gracias. Cheers. Salute. You seem pleased. Good goose. It's another double. So yes, that's, it is. that's worth the 200 pesos. Yeah, it's probably a 300 peso drink, but. It's good. And here is my beverage. It's very pretty. Got some cucumber on it. Okay. All right. Let's give it a shot. Salute. Oh wow. There's a lot going on in this. Um, there's. I can taste pineapple. I can't remember what else was in it, but it's complex. A hint of something, I just can't put my finger on it. And then we got these lovely little pieces of cucumber right here. Okay, delicious, delicious. And not my typical go to. 
no mezcal, and no carajillo. Well, that is one thing that was in it, was that liqueur 43, which is typically found in a carajillo. Um, but that is in this, so. Are those peppers? These are carrots. Okay. There are some peppers. And some green beans. And some broccoli florets. Nice. And of course I got... Alfredo. Mark was just saying they cooked his meat right. And he didn't have to say azul. So you have a filet, right? Yeah. And how is that cream sauce that's on it? Oh, thank you. Yes. I'll take this. Oh, Mark, that's good. I know. Ooh. It's a mushroom sauce. That's delicious. You may have come out ahead here. I mean, that's pretty good. I'm wondering now why I got fettuccine alfredo. Let's taste off the uh, fettuccine alfredo. Here's a typical, right? Mm. The pasta is the perfect firmness. It's got that al dente texture, feel to it. It's got some tooth, right? There is a hint of garlic. Definitely buttery. Cheese. The cheese is good. It's not overwhelming. There's not a ton of it. It's enough to give you that flavor that you are expecting with an Alfredo. Perfection. Out of all the meals that we have had in San Miguel de Allende, and I had some fantastic chicken parm at La Francesca. Had a great steak up at uh, Traza 1810. But hands down, this was the best meal in all of San Miguel that I've had. The filet au fungi. Mushroom, well, mushroom filet. Yes. Perfectly cooked. Could have cut it with a spoon. Whoa, that's I mean, like celebrity cruises. There was no Tuscan steak grill. No steak knife, just a regular. You cut your fillet with your fork. No, with the regular just oh, okay. table knife. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Perfect though. Are you finished? <laughs> I'm really glad that Mark enjoyed his meal. It's been a struggle for him to find um, beef cooked at the level that he likes it, which is practically like not cooked at all. <laughs> He's a happy guy. Got goose and got a good filet. Doesn't get much better than that. So this is de banana. It's a mama recipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're back to mama again. Anybody guess yet where Phil Collins got that laugh? So she just poured what I think was uh, condensed milk, possibly... Maybe a little caramel or something? It might be some caramel. I think it's condensed. I, I don't think it's evaporated. I think it was condensed milk. Let's see what this is right here. Okay, that's a potato stick. I don't know what that is. And that is like a banana whipped cream. All right, we got to try this. And there's slices of banana and yeah. some type of pond in between, three layers of the pond. It looks like it has... Maybe some cinnamon in there as well. This could be very interesting. Here, you take a taste. Tell us what you think. You try first. Sort of got a mullet. It's okay. It'll all taste good no matter how it looks. 
Well, I'm doing mine with the blueberry. Oh, yes, Mark does like his blueberries. Try not to make a mess. The looks on your face right now. It's good. I don't know about the potato sticks on top. Not a fan of the potato sticks, huh? But the the, the, the pond, the little bit of whipped cream, the banana, and the, and the condensed milk. Bueno. Okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. Those are some really big blackberries, by the way. Oh, this is much denser. Yes. Is it like a pancake, you think? It's got like the texture of a pancake, but it's sweeter. And it's a little more denser. So I think it is some sort of griddle, griddle cake, but a, um, a confectionery type griddle cake. Okay, let's try it again. The cream is very, very light. It's got a hint of banana flavor in it, but it's it's very fresh. It's very fresh whipped cream. It's delicious. The banana is inside the cream. Yeah. It's really good and it's cool. Even even the cakes are chilled. These little griddle cakes, they're chilled. Mm. That's good. That's a hit. It's light. It's refreshing. It's not super sweet. It's just a little bit sweet with the fresh fruit, which even like a raspberry, this will have a tartness to it. Yep. Perfect combination. Muchas gracias.
Mark and I are coming to you from El Jardín in San Miguel de Allende. La Parroquia is in front of us and behind us are a street lined with paper mache Judases and they're about to blow them up. It's going to get really loud. It's almost time. We think. Hearing preserved by my morning jacket earplugs. Thank you for watching today. We are Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. Remember, we are doing it. You can too. Stick around. Here's some more videos that you might like. Hasta la próxima vez. Adios.